Smash Brothers references through far more things than just colors. It can reference obscure games and mechanics, and even Japanese culture. I will be breaking the items into categories and be digging deep for the hidden and obvious meanings. Super Metroid did not contain a beam sword. Just getting that out of the way. Again, this is intended to be generic and represent all beam swords. The visual design and sound effects are usually very similar to Star Wars lightsabers, which was based closely on early beam weaponry conceptualized by the likes of Asimov. I butchered his name, I know it. The functionality and mechanics are more in line with beam weaponry like Zero's Sea Saber as both change size and shape based on the mental strength and will of the wielder. A year after Smash Brothers was released, in Kirby 64, Sakurai gave Kirby what is very, very similar to a dual-bladed lightsaber with the spark cutter combo, and Sin and Punishment gave the hero a beam sword. Metroid Prime also equipped space parts with beam weaponry, and Klaus from Mother 3 even uses a beam sword. Beam swords are in no way uncommon, and all bear a great number of similarities. This is another item included to be generic and generalized. It is often assumed to originate from Mother. However, and interestingly in the Mother series, bats are one of the few weapons that can smash, or critical hit. This is strikingly similar to how smash attacks are deadly. It could also represent the baseball bats from baseball. Perhaps it's meant to reference both. This is your standard hand fan. They are known and common in most developed nations, but most popular in Japan. This existed occasionally in a number of video games, however Brawl's fan trophy speaks of the Japanese comedy skits known as Man's Eye. These routines are similar to the Three Stooges in that a bumbling imbecile is paired with a more sane person. The sane person often strikes and beats the imbecile after they say or do something stupid in a similar format to the aforementioned Stooges. One of the prop objects commonly used in these skits is a very plain hand fan, like this one. This item originates on Kirby's Dreamland, where Waddle Dees would float down, then release the parasol, at which point it would fly skyward at an alarming speed. Kirby could eat the parasol, but was unable to use it. This changed in Kirby's adventure. When Kirby had stolen the parasol, he would be able to float slowly down like a Waddle Dee, as well as be able to bludgeon his enemies to death with it. He has never been able to release it upward like a missile, however. This may be reflected by how bouncy the item is. Other parasols and umbrellas have appeared. Yoshi used one in Yoshi's story, 